Good morning, curls. It's Yolanda Renee. I have my coffee and I'm doing a little social media grinding. And then let's get right into this tutorial. We're doing a blowout in wine curls. Now, we definitely want to start on freshly washed hair that is super moisturized. So I decided to do a co-wash and then I immediately followed up with a deep conditioner. We definitely want our hair to be moisturized because we are going to be applying a lot of heat to our hair. So we have to take care of the moisture first. The next product you need to add to your hair after you wash the deep conditioner out is a leave-in conditioner. We're gonna put our leave-in conditioner in. Making sure that you're getting all the strands. And also make sure you pay attention to your ends as well. This is a serum, so you don't need that much. It a little goes a long way. It's so weird how it does work like that so make sure you pay attention to your ends and I'm not worried about excess water or anything because I just feel like we're blow drying our hair and we don't want to take that moisture away um, for it to dr actually dry our hair out there's a difference between your hair being blow dried and it being just dry you know what I mean so we don't want dry hair we just want blow dried hair <laughs> if that makes sense all right so we're ready to go so I'm gonna take a small section I'm gonna be blow drying that section a paddle brush is very important in this process because this is going to help our hair get really straight, okay? Um, but still afro straight, you know what I mean? Um, and then I also have this blow dryer, which is from Eva NYC. I got these both from Ulta. It, was, it came in a set, so it's really cool. I like it. So first, I'm just going to make sure my hair is really detangled before we start. So I'm going to make sure that I'm pulling it all the way to the ends. So I'm pulling it all the way to the end and I'm going to put my blow dryer on um, a not a cool setting but a warm setting. It's best that you do it on a cool setting but that takes a long time and I don't have time for it. <laughs> so I'm going to use warm but I'm going to use high um the as far as the pressure goes i'm going to put it on high so this is the temperature setting on here it's one is the coolest three is the hottest but i'm putting it at two and this little button up here is also so it can be even cooler like if you need a break or something from the heat you can press that if you know you get what i'm saying like if you know your hair is getting too hot you can cool it off and then this is where you can put it on off one is the next setting and two is like the the um more pressure of the blow so i'm going to put it all the way up. so the point of the the point of the tension method is when you pull it down like this and then blow dry it that's stretching the hair so that gives you more stretch less um tangles and everything because if i just immediately just blow dried it with my hair you know as is oh my gosh it would just be a mess but now we've already stretched it um, if you're gonna use a paddle brush while you're blow drying then it's good to use the paddle brush you know while you have control of it with both hands basically you don't want the blow dryer in your hair in your hand and then brush with one hand you want to make sure that you can really pass through the hair easily so you're not breaking the hair so as you can see my paddle brush is going through it pretty easily so now I know I can do it with one hand without a problem you know what I mean I'm gonna put the brush upside down 
right at the root right here and now we're going to blow dry it and as we blow dry it we're going to pull as I blow dry it I'm going to pull the brush down like so one section blow dried we're going to use coconut oil so we're going to use a small amount of coconut oil. and also just to help really get the hair to be really afro sleek and we're not going to put a lot of heat on our hair after putting the coconut oil because we don't want to cook our hair <laughs> and again we want to make sure that the paddle brush can pass through our hair easily before um blow drying because we don't want any snags we don't want to damage our hair so there we have it look at that i love it yes honey all right so i'm going to um twist this section just so it won't you know shrink up or get tangled and so it can the be steps, out of the way um one more time just so you can have it you know and to go right in there with our eden body works leave-in conditioner next we're going to apply a heat serum only a few drops Alright, so now we're going to take a small section of this section. Alright, so now we're going to do... Make sure our paddle brush can get through here again because we have all the sections this time, not just, you know, one little one. And we're going to blow dry it again. Take this section down too so you can see what it looks like and we're going to blow dry all of the sec but keep in mind you guys that we're not cooking the coconut oil um so don't cook your hair or the oil we're just melting it okay because we don't want any damage and i've done this probably three times you guys before making this video um and i have no heat damage okay no heat damage whatsoever my curls revert right back So here's our afro blow dried hair let's see um a side by side of this i always think these pictures are cool when we see before and after so this is the beauty of natural hair you guys like oh my gosh we can wear our hair curly in in its natural state and then we can blow dry it and make it straight afro straight it doesn't have to be silky straight it can just be beautiful you know and we can make it bigger look at that look how much our hair can just transform you know this is it bigger bigger afro it can just, it can mold it just how we want it. And I would totally rock my hair like this without flat ironing it. 
because I love it. I just love it. So yeah. And I'm gonna twist this section and then I'm gonna do the last section off camera and then we'll come back so you can see my entire head in a blowout you guys so excited <laughs>